All right, here's a quick search pattern for an admin CT, starting with the topogram. So taking a look at the lung bases, the bile gas pattern, looking for any obvious masses, calcifications, osseous abnormalities, none of which are present here. Double click to get back to the other images. And now let's look at the axials. So the first thing that I want to take a look at is the lung bases. If you hit the number two button, you can get the lung window to show up. Scrolling through, a little tiny bit of atelectasis in the dependent lung bases uh, in the corner here of the right lower lobe, uh, none of which is too terribly scary. Or no pleural effusion and nothing suspicious for consolidation or pneumonia. All right, now scrolling through the abdomen, we've got the liver, looking at its enhancement pattern, the hepatic veins and portal veins, uh, no biliary dilatation, no masses. Coming back up to the gallbladder, we don't see any stones, wall thickening, or pericholocystic fluid. We're also taking a look at the common bile duct, which does not appear abnormally enlarged. Coming up, looking at the adrenal glands, the right adrenal gland looks completely normal. Left adrenal gland is basically smashed up in the left upper quadrant like it tends to be, but looks okay. Looking at the kidneys, the enhancement pattern looks perfectly normal. We don't have any masses or abnormal contours or dilation of the collecting system. We've got the spleen, which looks pretty normal. Normal enhancement pattern, no masses. And the pancreas, following the tail of the pancreas up towards the body and into the head and neck region, uh, can barely see a little bit of the pancreatic duct, but that's normal. We can take a look at the stomach and bowel. The stomach contains oral contrast here, a very nice picture of the antrum and pylorus. The duodenum looks pretty normal coming across the duodenal sweep. A little bit of uh, presumed peristalsis over here. The bowel looks a little bit thickened, but I think it's going to be completely normal. Looking at the remainder of the small bowel, lots of air fluid levels, but no distension whatsoever. Looking at the terminal ileum, which is right here. And when you find the terminal ileum, if you just go a little bit further south, you can generally find the appendix. And the appendix is going to be right here. And that looks pretty normal. Stool in the right colon, following the colon across, a little bit more stool. Coming down the left colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum, all looks pretty normal. The female organs, we see the vagina down here, uh, the probably a right ovary here. Maybe a left ovary down here. Here's the uterus. All looks pretty normal. Looking at the retroperitoneal structures for masses and lymphadenopathy, I don't really see anything. We've got the abdominal aorta and IVC. And taking another look at the mesentery of the bowel just to make sure that there's no twists and kinks or lymphadenopathy, and I don't see anything. Pressing the number four gives us the bone windows. So looking around for any bone lesions, a couple of little bone islands, which are of no consequence. Putting my eyes on all the bones all over the place, looking for rib fractures. The rib ends are oftentimes very irregular and funny looking, but they're okay. Now I'm going to turn the abdomen window back on and look around the outside of the scan for anything that is out of the ordinary, looking at the, the contents of the spine, the spinal canal, spinal cord, looking for masses there. Should be able to see the nice three layers of the abdominal wall, internal, external, oblique, transversus, abdominus muscles, all look very normal. Coming down, looking at the groin for lymph nodes. We do see several lymph nodes, but none of which are pathologically enlarged. All right. That's it for a quick little rundown of the abdomen CT.